Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash thepropshop. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Two. One. Hey, Shop Rats. You're listening to episode 28 of The Prop Shop, the podcast that brings you the coolest news and insight into the cosplay world. For the week of March 22nd, 2015, we're your hosts, Adam Hazy and Sean Toomey. So, Sean, we were supposed to have a show like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we were. What happened? Oh, well, we ran into some technical difficulties, isn't that right? Yeah, we sure enough did. Yeah, it appears some of us may have ran out of hard drive room. Yeah, and I'm still kind of low, but I think I'm good. I hope so. I, I, I think I'm good. So, this, for this week's episode, as you might have seen by the title, we're going to talk to you about technical difficulties. Yeah, technical difficulties. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about them in both real-world applications, convention-going experiences, and building your cosplay. Woo. So, we're going to start off with electronics, because there were usually technical difficulties happen. Yes, technology. So... One of, the, one of the first things I'm going to say is always make sure you have spare memory or memory cards or any way to have data. <laughs> yeah, that's Especially important. if you have a computer. But yeah, no, because even when you go to a convention or something and you're like, oh, take an awesome video, taking amazing photos, and then you run out of memory. You're, you're done. <laughs> yeah. Game over. Yeah. So you always want to make sure you have backup memory cards so that way you can keep on taking pictures or have something like a tablet or laptop on you so you can transfer your pictures that you've taken off the memory card onto another device. Or, you know, just bring spare memory cards. Right. That'd be the simplest. Right. Yeah. But, yeah, either way, make sure you have spare memory. Yeah. And, man, what goes great with memory a side of power. <laughs> so, <laughs> a side of power. Yeah. yeah. So, always make sure you always bring spare batteries, too, because whether it's your camera, your lights, or your fans, you're going to need spare batteries to keep those things going. Cameras, your battery die, you can't do anything else. Uh, lights, your batteries die, no more glowing. Oh. No. Fans, you'll overheat. Fans, the yes, fans, fans. So definitely. I believe Sean has a bit of a story about that one too. Well, I might have said it before on the show, but um, last year it was it was August second of last year, and down here in the South it gets hot. Now, wh- what's I don't mean your definition of hot. <laughs> I mean like ninety, like in the mid to upper 90s maybe <laughs> low hundreds oh my god I with would high die. humidity with I... high humidity yeah, yeah. being a northern so, folk that lives in snow 70 percent of the time i would die yeah, yeah you would <laughs> you'd, you'd probably die um i mean good grief you consider like what 60 degrees hot no 60 degrees is nice like 75 and higher i personally find extremely hot yeah, 75, it's still, like, uh, I can still probably wear a long sleeve shirt out here. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I also have a really low body temperature, so it's like a... Uh, huh. But, um, anyways, yeah, so, one of my... For some reason, my fan wouldn't work in my helmet, mm-hmm. and I don't know what was causing it. I don't know if it was the fan that's malfunctioning or if it was just the battery that I had. I just had a 9-volt battery plugged into the fan. And, uh, it ran, it would, it ran, uh, the last con that I went to. And then when I, uh, replaced the battery this next time around, (laughs) it just didn't work. Oh, it was a brand new battery. You just took it out of the package and it just, it just didn't work. I don't know what happened. So, so make sure to always at least test your batteries (laughs) before. Well, no, it, well, I, I take that back. It worked up until I got there or when I, when I got to the con. Hmm. So was your, was did you leave your power switch on or something or no no I didn't leave anything on I turned it off I even unplugged it uh, unplugged the battery from the fan hmm. and uh, it just kind of just didn't work it wasn't spinning very fast it would it only spin a little bit and it take forever to start up too so so always make sure to have batteries have spare batteries and make yeah. sure to test your gear yeah absolutely. during before and after. That way, you have minimal chance of things going wrong. Yeah. Test your gear, and if you have to replace a fan, do it. 
Especially if you live in the South. <laughs> yes, especially if you live in the South. So, the next thing that we're going to kind of go off of, because we've covered fans, right? I think so, We've yes. covered batteries. Yeah. We've covered memory. Mm, have we? We have. It escapes my memory. Oh. Uh, uh, that was horrible. It I was. Just stop now. Yeah. So, the next thing is... Always make sure that you have everything plugged in properly. Always check your connections. And if you're doing a podcast, a YouTube video, or trying to set up an interview for a cosplayer or a vendor or something else, make sure you have the right microphone plugged in and make sure that microphone works. Yes. <laughs> Always run an audio test before you do anything. Are you using the correct microphone, Adam? I am, luckily. Okay. Making sure. Because we've had experiences where we had to completely throw out work we've done because the the microphone wasn't yeah. plugged in or the computer didn't read the proper microphone. Yeah. Yep. So you always want to make sure that you or if, check everything. Or, yeah, or if audio just doesn't save at all. Right. <laughs> and then you have to go back the next day or wait later in the week and re-record the episode, even though the first recording was probably the best show that you'd ever recorded. Yeah, sad times. Yeah. Sad times. True story. So It is. So yeah. always make sure to do it. So basically what we're saying is if you go to a con or you're getting prepared to do some sort of video, always run through the checklist. Plug it in. Sound check. Video check. Memory check. And then battery check. Probably yep. battery check should come first because more than likely if you don't have a battery, the rest of that stuff won't work. Right. <laughs> so, so, yeah, take it from us. Always make sure to check your tech. Yep. That's that's our new catchphrase. Check your tech. Check your tech. So that's, that's a good catchphrase, actually. It is. That's a good one. That's a good saying. Check your tech. So, like we mentioned earlier, um, when it comes to building your cosplay, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And a lot of really? things that yeah. could ruin your day a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. So... One of the things for me is, I, I've mentioned before that last summer I got a bandsaw from a garage sale. Oh yeah, you and did, didn't you? I used that to cut my foam with to make my foam stuff, right? Yeah. So, turns out, blades snap. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. You know, so, um, one, safety first. Wear glasses. Yes, wear, wear safety goggles. Second, have a backup blade ready. Because I didn't have a backup blade ready. And then I went to three oh, stores, and they didn't have a blade in stock. Oh. And then, like, two days later, I went to the next store, and they had a blade in stock. Slightly wider than I would have preferred, but they had it, so I bought it. So, moral of that story, have spare blades. If you use any kind of saw, always make sure you have a spare blade to avoid that technical difficulty. And you might say, well, it's not electronic, it's not a technical It's still technology, be quiet. Well, no, it's it's the spirit of the technical difficulty. Well, because know, it still and, and, stopped you know. my progress, ruined my pro don't it didn't ruin my project, but it put my project on hold. And it made everything, you know, not so much fun. Yeah. Tools are still a form of technology, so Yeah. Technically so, it can be a technical difficulty. Always be sure that you have your have your saw blades ready. And it might you might be sounding crazy buying two saw blades at once. <laughs> Because I, I can see it now. You got the catcher, sir. Huh, do you have two saws? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would know that it's a backup. Yeah, so they probably would. But, they you know. probably would, yeah. I've been to some places where people work in there aren't so intelligent. <laughs> yeah. Like the Radio Shack here in Memphis. Mm. Oh, oh, wait. No, there isn't one anymore. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, it, clo it, it closed a few weeks Shots ago. Shots fired. Well, no, it closed. It was part of the, uh, the giant closure a but, few yeah. weeks or not too long ago. So they didn't know what they were talking about, though. And here's the funny thing. This is going to sound slightly repetitive. Buy extra sandpaper. Yeah. Because you go through a lot more sandpaper than you'd like to think. <laughs> so if you yeah. if you buy the yeah. two packs of sandpaper, odds are that's not enough sandpaper. <laughs> and for as cheap as sandpaper is, you might as well buy four or five packs of sandpaper at a time. Or a lot of those value packs that have like three different... Grits, grates, grit, Gra gradients, yeah. grits, <laughs> yeah, mm, grits. So you're gonna want to buy a, a lot of extra ones of those because awesome. grits you're gonna go through a lot of sandpaper, especially if your stuff isn't fully cured, 
or it's still tacky and you go to sand it and then it just clogs your sandpaper up i've had that happen many a times with bondo yeah. many of times where i'm just like brand new piece of sandpaper sand oh it's all bondo <laughs> yeah <laughs> not, i've had something like that happen but with paint yeah not that drastic so. but it's like slide 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 oh it's not sanding yeah. anymore yeah yeah that's what i do i usually buy the the boxes of sandpaper and it has like four different uh sheets of the three different grits or something in there yeah so. i usually just end up buying like three packs of the three individual ones mm-hmm only because uh, I don't, I don't. The value packs are nice, but I get to that point where it's like, oh, well, I have a lot of this one left. I have like three or four sheets of like one fifty, but I only need like two sixty or three twenty. Yeah, I don't know. I always find a way to use all of the sandpaper. I also have a uh, the a sanding block, which is also really really nice. If you don't have one of those, I suggest getting one. Yeah, sanding blocks are the best best value. Yeah, and they're the best thing to use because then you're not using your hands, which have different divots in them. Yeah, which yeah, or you can just use a power sander, which well on on larger projects that you need to do something really fast, you just use a power sander or an orbital but, sand, an orbital sander usually a palm sander. Yeah, because when you sand with here's another technical difficulty, sanding with your hand, <laughs> because yeah. your hand is flexible and squishy. You're gonna get a whole bunch of uneven, divots. uneven spots whenever you sand right. something. So if you if you're sanding anything large by hand, it's gonna not be as smooth as it was before you bonded it. Well, that's a lie, but it'll be smoother. it'll be pocketed. <laughs> yeah, it won't be symmetrical either. Where sanding blocks are solid, square usually, so they're gonna be consistent. For the most and part. they 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 can since they're made of like a really thick rubber foam type stuff they will curve a little bit and conform to the shape of whatever you're wanting to sand but for the most part it'll be even yeah so, so that's something you always want to be careful of while yeah. sanding yeah also when you are going back to the buy extra saw blades and stuff like that also buy extra cutting bits for rotary tools because yes. they will snap off, break, and fly into your face. Sanding bits, cutting bits, yeah. and engraving bits, which I use to cut with. <laughs> yeah, I don't need ask one me. Of those. No, I need one of those. I need yeah. a, one of those for my Mando helmet and my Daft Punk helmet whenever I get that. Because the bladed wheels for your rotary thing, they snap and shatter. So always wear safety glasses while using those, especially yeah, using those. I actually got hit in the eye with one of those. Oh, gee, because you weren't or wearing safety glasses, were you? Uh, I was. Oh, good. <laughs> and it hit me in the. It still hit me in the face. Well, it would have been worse if you didn't have them, probably. So, and the sand, the sanding ones will shred and then go flying off. Yeah. And then the engraving ones, which I love to use because they're very, very fine tipped. Mm-hmm. I use them to get like little pieces out of divots. Like for instance, uh, my Iron Man Mark Forty Two that I got a while ago. Yeah. Um, there's like a, a bubble in the ear or a buildup in the ear portion. So the cutting bit and sanding bit won't fit in there. So I love using the engraving tool to just slowly carve it out Yeah. or cut around it so that I can go pop and pop it out. And it's even good for those lined details. You can go back in and deepen them or make them wider or whatever. Yeah, you, you to just do. go back in and just trace them and clear them out of any excess resin or whatever. And if you have a lot of patience, like I did, slash didn't know there were cutting wheels you could get, when I had my ODST raw cast from like five, four years ago that I gave to a friend, I ended up giving to a friend, I used the engraving bit to slowly cut out the visor section because <laughs> I, I only had thick cutting wheels. I didn't have the really thin, sharper ones. So I was like, well, I'm just wow. going to use this engraving bit. And I went, I snapped so many of those. Like the, oh, the tips would just wow. snap off. So, yeah. <laughs> how? How? You know. Wow. That's wow. Trust me. It was, it was even a bigger pain because I was using a rechargeable uh, oh, rotary yeah, yeah. tool. Yeah, not yeah. a plugged one so it was like got a little yeah, bit done yeah. oh gotta charge it Bloop. wow up oh, snap the tip <laughs> and that actually brings up a good point for technical difficulties <sighs> if you if you can get away with it get it wired 
Yes. <laughs> Don't go with rechargeable tools. Because except, that goes well, back to drill. our battery thing. Rechargeable drills are fine because they actually yeah. work. Yeah. Most other rechargeable tools I've had don't work like they like I need them to. But yeah. Oh, if you can get go wired because it'll avoid stopping your project. Yeah. To charge the battery for six to eight hours. Because that was a problem I had with my rotary tool, which until I got the wired one is why I thought they were garbage. Yeah. <laughs> because I, could, I I just didn't have time to use them. Yeah. Speaking of like drills and stuff like that they're usually really good i have not charged my electric drill in now when you say electric drill you mean battery yeah rechargeable? Power, my, yeah okay. power drill um my battery powered drill i haven't charged it in almost nine months mm-hmm. i think and it still has it still works so that's fantastic. They, they're, they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what, what's in that drill battery technology, but they're amazing. It's just a lithium ion battery. As far as I know, apparently it's better than the rest. Yeah. And so some more little tips to help you avoid issues is go down to your hardware store, pick up the cheapest knife sharpener you can find, or just use the bottom of a ceramic mug. If you have a mug, you're willing to sacrifice. Use the bottom of a ceramic mug. Yeah. Because knife blades will cost you a fortune. Yeah, they will. Out over time. Yep. <laughs> if you don't sharpen them and use them for as long as physically possible. Yep. Trust me, after I bought that $2 knife sharpener, I haven't bought a blade since. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it, it's, it, it was well worth its weight in dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what dollar dollar bills <laughs> dollar dollar bills y'all yeah because i only paid two dollars <laughs> two dollars it was totally worth it I'd, okay so but if you're don't buy it like a twenty dollar one get, if you can find one for ten or under get that one it's gonna be just as good yeah or just you know get a go out and get like a really cheap whetstone yeah so that's what i use so the next thing is is if you glue yourself together with super glue game over you're done <laughs> That's no, don't pull apart you peel don't pull apart you will hurt yourself and even then some of them on the packaging say that uh i think it's vegetable dunk your fingers in vegetable oil and it'll help degrade the glue really i believe so i was looking I've at a bottle the that. other day and it said and there's some kind of oil you could apply mineral mineral oil maybe probably um mineral spirits yeah you 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 talk for a second let me find the package yeah. real quick i mean any kind of oil will help loosen it so i've had to use that on several things it also uh loosens um hot glue and epoxy so i've had to use uh goof off or goo gone which is basically <laughs> <Goof> just <off. laughs> i think it's goo gone it's goo gone or something i don't know i've heard it both there's there's something else called goof off or something is there? yeah it's like a putty or something hmm. or like a hummus or like a pumice or whatever i don't know what it is um but it helps remove or it loosens epoxy so or really thin layers of it so because i got some on my mandalorian visor i had to clean off so so yeah, so yeah. In this particular packaging for this particular super glue I have, it does not say anything about oil. But I, one of them in the stores I seen a certain oil will help remove stuff from it. Okay. Yeah. What kind of what kind of glue is that? Super glue. Just super glue. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna oh. drop brand names. <laughs> oh. But yeah. So my favorite is Gorilla Brand. Uh, well, that happens to be what I'm using. <laughs> With the blue top. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the big bottles. That's my, that's my favorite. So, so, the reason why I have this is, you know, the lightsaber I've been 3D printing at university. Yeah, yeah. Well, it turns out that uh, I'm only missing one or two parts now. Awesome. So I'm home for spring break. For spring break. Spring break. You have to say it like Sean Connery. Now you're home for spring break. So I decided to start working on my lightsaber. So cool. it's actually really cool because I have all the pieces except for one because I need to do some work to it because the print yeah. wasn't fantastic. I have them super glued together. So I have two sections of lightsaber now. 
and I'm just waiting to glue those two sections together because I don't want to make that commitment yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know what you mean. So I, I probably will, though, like tomorrow or the next. By the time you hear this podcast, I probably would have glued them together. Nah. But, yeah, so I'm super excited to get this thing finished. It looks amazing, and I haven't even done any, like, black wash to it yet. Yeah, or what, yeah any kind of weathering. Yeah, so, so, so I have. I've, I've, I've seen it. It looks really cool. Yeah, so I got so. these this nice, like, chrome gold and chrome silver paint from the hardware store. So yeah. these pieces yeah. are looking bling. Yeah, they're looking bling? Yeah, looking yeah, bling. Looking pretty good. And the, uh, the black portions of it, like the handle and the smaller handle. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they're called. The little this this black, is Obi Wan's lightsaber pieces. for reference, so yeah. you can so. Google image that and see what I'm talking about. Not the Episode One lightsaber; it's every other lightsaber except episode for Episode Four. No, oh. well, it was in Episode Three too. It was well, it was this one episode specifically three. Episode Four, but whatever. Well, okay, I thought they used this pretty much the same thing. So for th- for those two pieces, I just left them the printed black that they are. I didn't paint them or anything. So okay, it's actually a really so. cool contrast because you have like the shiny bling. And, and then, then you have like the rough and gruff black. Yeah, it looks pretty are you, cool. Are you gonna go over the uh, the grips or the black pieces with like a uh, silver paint or something to make it look like like it's a silver kind of wash? Up? Well, not really a silver wash. Just like it, go over, just lightly dry brush on some uh, stuff to make it look scratched up or something. Uh, I might. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with adding uh, black to the top portion, like the the bronze and silver yeah. portion. Yeah. And see okay. how that looks first. Okay. And then kind of decide from there. Okay. Um, really what you want to do is you'd want to add all the, like, the... Well, that'll be fine, I guess. Because I, w- I would add all of the, uh, like, the scratching and stuff like that first and then go over it with the black. But uh, just to simulate actual wear on it. But, you know, you do what you want, so... Yeah. I don't know how... Some of these lightsabers... I know, I know this is completely off topic... But some of these lightsabers, I don't know how they hold them. Because, like, Obi-Wan's has, like, this... The, the clamp section in the middle. Mm. There's no comfortable way to hold on to this. And... Because, like, there unless are times where they hold have it from two-handed. The, well, so, I guess unless you hold it from the bottom black piece. Or yeah, the top one. And then even then, know. his his lightsaber is very top-slash-front-heavy, he- top however you want to describe it. So it's it's just it's it's odd. I never these are things I never knew about a lightsaber before. So that's well, been really yeah. interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, but uh, since you're talking about props, and I actually mentioned this earlier, and mm-hmm. I haven't talked about it on the show yet, I don't think, is that I'm starting a new project. So are you? Yeah, I am starting a Daft Punk costume. Oh, uh, which which punk? Uh, Thomas, <laughs> I, I, no, it's it, I'm actually daft, so I need to find somebody who's punk. So, I'm kidding. I'm actually. I got punk. really confused. <laughs> I'm actually going to be punk. No, there's a, there's a comedian. There's, <laughs> there's a comedian who, um, for one of his shows, one of uh-huh. his skits, he dressed up. He had the uh, the Thomas helmet. And, Which one's uh, Thomas? Is he the silver one? Horizontal visor yeah, or the, the silver the silver okay. robot? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. But he. Uh, He's like, uh, it was some French guy. He's like, uh, hi, I'm, uh, I am a daft punk. Or actually, I am daft. Punk cannot make it. No, I'm kidding. I'm actually punk. So <laughs> That's funny. It was, it, was, it was just really funny. And you went all this whole thing. It was pretty funny. But, um, yeah, I'm probably, I'm not going to have the money to get the helmet chrome plated. Oh, no. Yeah, it's like four hundred dollars or something like that to get it chrome plated uh-huh. so i think i'm just going to get some uh chrome model paint because mm-hmm. i mean that's what a lot of people suggest using and i've seen some tests from it and it gives a chrome like finish so it's pretty reflective so i'm probably just going to use that no i'm not going to put any leds or anything in there no but- no, because... But that's so cool. Yeah, it is really cool. And if I decide I want to later on, there's more than enough room in there to put LEDs. Yeah. But I'm, I'm only going to put fans in there, but I'm not going to put any LEDs in there because it's the wrong style helmet to put LEDs in. So I've done I've been doing a lot of research on uh, the Daft ah. Punk helmets. So Now, what do you... Can you explain 
that. What do you mean? Like the, the differences? wrong helmet, yeah. Um, the wrong style. Or yeah, the LEDs were only in two style or two of the helmets. The uh, the first one it was the Discovery era helmets, which was like around two thousand, I think. Right. The time when you know one more time, you know, um, those helmets they had the LEDs. Those were also the first appearance of the Daft Punk helmets, and um, the second time they had LEDs, it was the Tron helmets. Okay, I really like the Tron helmets. Yeah, I like the Tron helmets too, and I would totally do that. Except I don't like the uh, the uh, brushed aluminum paint on both of the helmets. Oh, so. really? I'm not a. It fan had to of fit it. in with the dance club, though. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, it's okay. I mean, brushed aluminum. It looks. It'll look nice. I mean, the first Daft Punk helmet that I made, it looked like brushed aluminum. Hmm. So I, I pepped one back when I was in high school, and I didn't do anything to it. I didn't put Bondo over it or anything. I was it was really rushed. So and I even didn't have a real visor. I just put this vinyl mesh in front of it and made it look like a, a visor, and it looked pretty good. Nice. Um, you know, it, it was okay. Um, yeah, I've thought of using mesh for many visors in the past. Yeah, I just never but, acquired it. Yeah, this wasn't even really mesh. It was like this vinyl. Uh, Oh, what is it? It's something that you put in the bottom of a garden or something to keep grass from growing. <laughs> so nice. it was like this mesh vinyl fabric type That's stuff. That's funny. Yeah, and it was it was horrible. It was the worst thing to wor- work with. It would fold in on itself. It wouldn't hold its shape. Oh. Um, so I didn't have any supports in there. It was really... Oh, Technical I, I, difficulties. Yeah, well, I built the thing in like a day. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. So, because it was like Spirit Week or something. Yeah. And even though technically I was a sophomore, right. the um, the freshmen had uh, like their their theme for that day was France. And I'm like, I got this. And so, because <laughs> I, I mean, technically I was a sophomore, but I was still taking freshman classes because I didn't do so well my first year of okay. high school. So I'm like, well, technically I can still do this. So <laughs> that's funny. So I did it, and uh, I had my my German teacher was like, "What's your mask?" And it's like Daft Punk. It's Germ or it's French, and she's like, "Oh, okay." Are they French? Yeah, they're French. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah, it's uh, Thomas Ben Galter and Guy, Guy Manuel de Hamon Christo or something. They're French. Man, learning a lot today. Yeah. So, but uh, the other helmets don't have LEDs except well. The the Alive two thousand or I think it's no it wasn't the two thousand seven helmets is like Alive nineteen ninety seven helmets mm-hmm. oh it might have been two thousand I don't know uh, they had uh, EL wire it was the nineteen ninety seven nice I think they had they were black with the EL wire both of them so it was pretty cool nice so speaking of projects and technical difficulties yeah my lightsaber has a technical difficulty. Uh oh, the the pummel or pommel or however the you pom- want to pronounce it. The pummel. It. The pummel. Yeah. I'm gonna pummel you with it. Okay. <laughs> but uh, it it was there was a issue with the printing when I got it. Yeah. So. I went back and tried to sand it down. Mm-hmm. And right now it's not looking too hot. It's, it's looking like a hot mess. So, uh, a right hot mess. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to go through and I'm gonna I'm gonna try some spot putty with it. And see if I can fix it up, and then sand it down, and then prime it, paint it. So, if you can't fix it, though, are you just going to say battle damage, or are you going to reprint it? Um, It depends what it looks like. And from there, more than likely, it'll be reprinted. But if I okay. can get this to acceptable look, then I'll keep it. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just going to have this random pummel. Pommel. End piece. End there you piece. go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. End piece. So then I'll have a uh, uh, R2-D2 if I ever finish him. Yeah. I don't know if I will. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I want to, but I don't know. It's like a lot of my projects. I want to finish them, but... Uh, um, then I'll have a lightsaber. Yeah. And, oh, hey, I picked up a Rebel X-Wing pilot helmet. Sweet. Yeah. A lot of Rebel stuff. You I, got I know, and there. I'm an Empire fan mostly. I know. Well, you can take that... Uh, pilot helmet turn it to an ATAT pilot helmet. So yeah, I just I just so. got this uh, helmet off somebody who was selling it off the BST page. Mm-hmm. So the two halves are already put together. 
I can hear you you holding it. Yeah, I'm, I'm it. shuffling yeah. it around. Um, yeah. There's some areas I'm going to have to sand down because it looks like he put down a thing of white primer already. I'm not 100% mm. sure, but there's like okay. these paint buildup streaks. Ah. So I'm going to have to sand those down. Um, the center bracket, I guess you would call it, that mm -hmm. holds the two halves together, um, is extended past the back. So I have to cut that, that extra off. Yeah. Um, I need to order a visor and padding for the inside for it. Hmm. And um, then I need to attach the front piece for it. I, I don't know what these technical terms are. So the front piece to the mohawk. And it also... Front piece to the mohawk? The front piece to the mohawk. <laughs> okay. And then it also came with the decals. So, and the chin strap. So cool! It's really cool. I'm so that's a to... plastic chin strap, right? Uh, yeah, it's vacuum. Uh, vacuum okay. chin strap. Yeah. Okay. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I would have used like a football helmet chin strap or a hockey helmet or some some sort of padded chin strap. Well, I, I can add foam or something to it. Yeah, I guess you could. So I'm looking forward to getting that built. Hopefully, I can get it painted over the spring break. I have hopefully, I still have a lot of score to do. You and your spring break, I don't get one. No? No. Oh. So I've been, uh, all of my friends, they're like, yeah, spring break was awesome. I had so much fun this spring break. I'm like, I made a music video. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, eh, well, you know, it was okay. So, maybe it was fun shooting it, you know, but uh, I had a couple of problems. Ah. With, with in production side. So. That's never fun. No, so. so but anyways, so. Yeah, that's what I've been working on, and oh, that, uh, speaking of my Iron Man helmet. From, like, earlier in the, the In the show, yeah. yeah. Um, I finally got the face plate painted. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 How long have you had that, like, a year and a half or something uh, like that? Yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I was gonna go paint the rest of the helmet, too. But yeah. there's there's too many holes in it. I need to fill a spot putty before I'm willing to accept it to ah. be painted. Yeah. yeah, and I need to sand out that little thing in the ear. He has ear gunk. <laughs> ah. Yeah, poor Iron Man has ear gunk. I'm probably gonna paint some stuff tomorrow. If oh, yeah? the uh, yeah, because it's supposed to get up to 75, I think. So, but because it, it's been raining all week here, ah. it's been cold here yeah it's been raining all week here and it's just now it's starting to get up to 75 i think to, hopefully tomorrow it's going to get up to 75 so i might go do some paint tests what are you gonna paint test i've got some silver paint that i i tried using it earlier or or on something else on a really shiny piece of black plastic mm -hmm. um but it didn't really work too well it didn't give the uh the finish that i wanted and so ah. I'm gonna t give it. A, I'm gonna test it on a uh, glass bottle and see if that gives me because it's smoother than the plastic was. Right. So I'm gonna see if that gives me a uh, better finish. But shouldn't you so. be testing it on a replica of what the helmet would be in order really, to see what the results would look like? Really, any any super smooth surface or super glossy glossy surface will work mm -hmm. because when I get my my helmet, I'm gonna have to put it or put um, automotive primer on it which is really really super Expensive. glossy it's also <laughs> super glossy ah so it's really 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 smooth uh, either that or just any kind of black enamel uh like glossy enamel or something like that but it's this a glass bottle is similarly smooth it's really smooth so it should work the same gotcha but, uh, gotcha. but the paint it just comes out really thick Oh. See, and so I'm like, okay, well, maybe if I just hold it really far away, it yeah. might work, you know? So I'm going to try that tomorrow. Um, and if that doesn't work, then I just have to go out and buy. Uh, I'm, look, I'm looking towards, uh, it's called Spastics Paint, mm -hmm. which uh, a lot of people, it's, it's really for airbrushes, but they sell it in... Uh, rattle cans uh but the rattle, that rattle, rattle. yeah that paint you can it, they sell it by like i think two ounce bottles That's for first uh first uh airbrushes mm -hmm. but 
I've seen videos of people spraying it on like plastic spoons and stuff like that. And it <laughs> has a perfect chrome finish. Nice. That's kind of So cool. it looks really, really nice. And also the, the spray cans, I think they're, they're pretty small cans, but I think they, somebody on the Daft Punk forums, yeah, those exist. Um, and is all, he's also on the, uh, on the RPF, I think. <laughs> he, he is not a forums. <laughs> no, the, I was looking on the guy that I'm talking about. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. You're I'm, t- I'm sorry. You're... I'm, 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 I'm really tired. I haven't gotten much sleep this week. You're like, yeah, on the forums, he did this. And we are like, Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm like half asleep. So I haven't been getting much sleep lately. Oh, this is this music video. Um, yeah. Anyways. Um, no, the guy I was looking at, he was doing these, uh, tests. He, uh, said that the spray cans, are just enough to cover a helmet. Oh, nice! So it's really small, and the, but the cans are—they're really expensive. I think it's like twelve dollars, oh, or something ouch. for a can. Yeah, so it's, a, it's like it's half the size of a regular spray can. Yeah, that's pretty so, expensive. Yeah, but the results are pretty good. Stunning. So, yeah, I mean, if I can, I probably—I've uh, got a a spray gun. That I could probably oh, just get a lot. Of, yeah, I've got a a spray gun. I just need a compressor for it. Oh, that's cool. Um. But if I can, I could probably just do something with that. But I'd have to get a lot of those little two-ounce bottles of paint yeah. <laughs> to fill up that giant cup that it's got. So yeah, yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. So, anyways, that's that was my train wreck of a uh, conversation. So sounds I'm, I'm, nice. Well, and and full of us, but you know, <laughs> happens. I can't help it. I'm tired. So. Unless you got anything else to talk about, Sean, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this week. No, I think I've 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 pr- I'm spent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, spent. No. Well, be sure to check out any of our previous episodes. And Sean, if people would like to get in contact with you to find out your spray paint know-how, where can people do that? What? What? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> where can people find you? Oh, where can people find me? Um, you can find me on Twitter at SeanEngine951 or on YouTube at Coffee Powered Media. And uh, I know how to paint. That's one of my favorite things to do. So, yeah, awesome. I can give you, so I can go give you to some him help for your if paint. you need it. He's yeah. been helping me with trying to figure out how to paint my lightsaber. Yeah. So I'm that's cool. So, and where can people find you? Well, if you'd like to get in contact with me, email me at unitedpropbuilders at gmail.com. Contact me at Facebook. Check out our Facebook group, facebook.com slash unitedpropbuilders. And be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash United Prop Builders. And we'd like to thank you all for checking out our podcast on iTunes and or Stitcher. Be sure to leave us a rating and review. And until next time, keep on building and we'll see you later. Prop on. Thanks for listening to The Prop Shop, the number one podcast for your shop. Help support the podcast by leaving a rating and review on iTunes and Stitcher. And be sure to check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash United Prop Builders.